So here we have the review of the awesome Yamaha T7. There's not that many adventure bikes that you can really go hardcore, but this is one of them. I love it already. The more I ride it, the more I like it because it really allows you to be really nimble on the bike. You can get up, you can stand up high, you've got some grippy foot pegs and really just put the bike where you want to on the dirt. You can make adjustments as you ride. I've hit a few kind of holes today, rocks, gone through some water crossings. We've had some soft sand. We've had some very technical stuff, for, especially for an adventure bike, handled it with ease. And that's what I love about this bike because it can just do it. You don't have to think about it as an adventure rider with a big bike and an expensive bike. You're always worried about damaging the bike or if it falls over, can I pick it up again? but not with this bike. This bike just kind of has just been giving me more and more confidence all day. As a rider, you just smile inside your helmet because you're not fearful of anything that you're coming up. We've got some really steep up and downhill turns, all kinds of things thrown at us today, so, and the bike's handled it with ease. Now, what I really love about this motorcycle is its CC, its size, and its weight, because it really allows you with a 700cc engine, 450 sort of pounds and a very slim machine allows you to really enjoy the off-road. Big adventure bikes, you're always worried about taking them off-road. What are you going to encounter? What's the surface going to be like? There's only so much you can do with them, especially when you've got luggage on them and you're going long distance. But this bike, it really feels nimble off-road. It's high off the ground, there's lots of ground clearance, it's fully adjustable suspension, front and rear. These awesome Pirelli Scorpion Rally tyres allow you to just go from street to the dirt and back again without a problem. So it's a very versatile machine. It's got a big gas tank. Do over 200 miles on that as a stock gas tank. How amazing is that? Now the ergonomics of the bike are really kind of like dirt bike orientated. There's not much weight over the front. It's very uh, central linear kind of motorcycle. So the riding position is very much in the middle of the bike. With this narrow seat, a, a nice long narrow seat, it just allows you to feel like you're on top of the bike, not in the bike. So when I'm riding the bike on the street, I feel like I'm really on top of the machine. Good vision over the screen ahead and no problems in the turns, but definitely feeling high on the street. But come to the off-road, you just jump on the pegs, get yourself up and you're high on the bar, and you've got loads of leverage, and you've got loads of control. Nice tall bars, nice slim gas tank, long tall seat, perfect for off-road. Now, on the flip side of it, on and off-road, you haven't got any riding modes. It's just, just very simple motorcycle. The only button that you've got to worry about is your ABS on and off. So just by one button, you're just going to hit that and be able to turn the ABS off. And that allows you to just really have a lot more control and fun off road. Now you can still keep with that if you're used to that kind of setting on the street. But if you don't want, you can just hit the button back and get your ABS back on the street. So only one button to worry about, no riding modes, nothing else, just ABN on and off. No electronic aids in terms of traction control. So this is very much a very raw motorcycle, old school motorcycle in terms of the electronics it's got, but don't let that take anything away from this motorcycle because it handles, rides and feels really great. Now engine wise, 700cc, 270 degree crank. So you really get that kind of like torquey traction feel. You've always got good power. And this bike really does feel like that. I've been able to run like tall gears, just nice, use the torque of the engine on the street and on the dirt and engine wise, it feels really, really capable. I really enjoyed riding it. It's got a nice light clutch, so that's easy to use. Good feel coming back from the front brake and the rear. So all of those kind of things concerned is on the street and on the dirt. Great feel coming back through suspension, brakes, throttle as you get on the power. It all has a really great feeling that comes back from this bike and that's just confidence inspiring. an adventure bike and a, what we've put it through today as well is it's also been really quiet now okay the engine's quite quiet and the exhaust system but i'm not talking about that i'm talking about the actual chassis usually you get like things rattling 
and you know big adventure bikes you feel like you're going to rattle them to bits rather than really you know uh, get the most out of them but this bike hasn't felt like that at all it feels like a really well built motorcycle so overall with the Yamaha T7 it's an incredible bike because it's allowing now the adventure rider to just go to that next level you can't only now have a motorcycle that's going to get you to the hills and to the fun stuff but you've got a motorcycle now that when you get there you can take small trails you can take technical stuff it's a bike i think that you can really ride around the world on it's certainly a motorcycle where you can plan your route now with a different mindset as an adventure rider that's amazing because like, okay we like the road we like the street we like all of the twisty canyon roads but there's nothing better than being an adventure rider, seeing a trail, taking off. And you can do that with this bike, because like I said, it seems like it almost can go anywhere. I'm a huge fan of it because it's easy to ride, it's fun, and it goes everywhere. So for me, this is a game changer. Yamaha have done a great job. Engine, chassis, suspension, and the general feel of the bike. Massive, massive thumbs up. Moto Geo loves you.